Uh, I'm still a relatively new ham myself. Uh, I have not participated in any emergency uh, activities or any kind of rescues or anything. Uh, being a Low Islander, I had a boat for a while, so I had a marine radio, and I had heard some emergencies on the radio, but I did not uh, participate uh, in any of those rescue activities. Uh, KD2WSY, back to net. Alrighty, thank you, Joseph. Let's go across the pond here to G0, Kilo Echo, November. Kenneth, over in Lincolnshire, England. Good morning, Kenneth, and have you ever participated in a rescue uh, with a ham radio? Good morning, Scott, and everybody else on the frequency. I was fisted in three marine ones at sea, well that wasn't the question. I was assisted in one in amateur radio. That's when there was a bug crash in the next county and I was monitoring tw uh, two metres. And we're not allowed to use amateur radio through to the normal telephone. So they asked me who I was in contact with. And so I put it through to the police and got things organised over. Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you very much. WB7, VPI, Wilton, Gresham, Oregon. Good morning, Wilton. Well, good morning, Brew Crew. Um, actually, 18-wheeled uh, mobile in the Portland metro area in Portland, Oregon. But, uh, yeah, one time, uh, I guess, wasn't exactly a rescue. It was more uh, roadside assistance. Um, Someone was up in the coast, a ham was up in the coast range, which is the mountain range between the Portland metro area and uh, and the coast. And they were on a, on a back logging road or whatever, forest road, and they kind of got off the edge a little bit. They were in a car, not a four-wheel drive or anything, and it got stuck. Uh, so a ham out on the west side was going to head out to try to rescue them, but didn't really. we kind of figured out where they were. Um, and I was at home in Gresham on the east side of the metro area, so I stayed in the comfort of my home, own home at the, sh at the shack bench there and followed along on Google Maps and kind of guided the, uh, the fellow ham to find the, uh, the stranded ham. So nothing too spectacular, but I've done a little bit. WB7 VPI, back to net, I'll be one and done. I think that qualifies as a yes. Uh, you have a great day. KD2, VEK, David in Brooklyn, New York. Looks like you're new to the system. Welcome and good morning.
84 R and R Kilo Delta Four Romeo November Romeo in and out. Kilo Gold Five Delta Whiskey Mike. Kilo Gold Five Delta Whiskey Mike. And for EIK, Lloyd uh, Madison, uh, I'll be in and out today. That's Kilo November 4, Echo India Kilo. NGYCK, Kilo Oscar 4, Whiskey Papa Tango, in and out, KO4 WPT. <laughs> Texas. 
Good morning, Christopher. And if you uh, assist in any rescue using ham radio. Morning, everybody. Uh, no, I have not had the opportunity. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to help in an emergency, but it would be nice to be able to uh, help somebody out in need if, if I can. So <laughs> that's one of the reasons I have the equipment. So whoever is, buddy, has a good day. Kilo go five. Delta would be my back to them. Alrighty, thank you, Christopher. You have a good day as well. And KN4EIK was in and out. Thank you for joining us this morning, Lloyd. Next up, N2YCK, Matthew and Rush. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Now, out of 30 years of being a ham, I've never had to uh, use a radio for emergencies. Matthew, thank you. Uh, let's see here. We got time to take a few more stations. Those looking to get into the morning brew. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, those looking to get into the morning brew, please come now twice. Yeah, I'd be curious about what the hum was. That's because the audio of this radio is very wide. So it goes very low in frequency. So therefore, it's able to hear the uh, subtone for the repeater, which is that hum that you hear. So I could just use the DSP Kilo, to get rid of it. Victor, Sierra. Kilo, November 4, Victor, 